Now with conventional IVF like this, the embryos have to be removed from the incubator once a day so they can be checked under the microscope. Compare that with this new technique. In these machines here, the embryos stay under the microscope constantly and remain there for five days or more until the best ones, the healthiest looking ones, at the lowest risk of a chromosomal abnormality can be selected and implanted. Thousands of images can be taken. Now, Alison Campbell, uh, you're the chief embryologist at CARE in Manchester. And what are the advantages of this new system? Well, the main advantage is we're collecting all these images which we can study and we can look back and, and try and understand which have the best potential, which embryo is the most likely to result in a baby. So you've got um, a, a 10 different embryos up there. Can you, can you run some in, 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 in the time-lapse images for us? Yes. So, so how does embryo 1 compare to embryo 2, for example? Well, we can see at this stage they're looking pretty similar. Um, and we can see the times popping up in the left-hand corner. And we can count the cell numbers and measure the, the fragmentation, the amount the embryos are disintegrating, and then they're compacting and the cells move together. So we're, we're looking at every precise detail of the embryo's development through seven focal planes. So does this benefit the couple? Does it result in a greater chance of having a healthy baby? Yes. Um, there are several publications now demonstrating an uplift in pregnancy rates when the embryoscope and time lapse is used compared to standard methods. Um, it's accessible now for, for most patients and we're seeing much better results with it. How expensive is it? We charge £750 for a cycle with the embryoscope on top of the IVF treatment. Do you think this is the future of IVF? Do you think all clinics, I know a dozen or so are using it at the moment, do you think all clinics will use it eventually? Yes, I have no doubt that this is the future of IVF. It's sophisticated, it's a leap forward in uh, incubation and uh, analysis of cells dividing, um, embryo development, we're understanding so much every day. So absolutely no doubt this is the future.